Hi, I'm Clément Levallois. Uh, I'm a social scientist, uh, always interested in uh, new ways to visualize data, in particular linked data. And thanks to Jan Willemtelp, I recently discovered a, a new software that uh, provides 3D layouts for networks. Um, and I want to show you how uh, that can really improve the exploration of a network as compared with uh, 2D networks. So what you see now is um, the map of science by uh, Leidersdorf and Raffol from 2009, uh, based on 2007 data. And that basically shows uh, how different scientific, scientific fields are connected through citations or co-citations. Uh, this is a 2D layout with PAGEC, which is a, a, classic, uh, a classic representation. Uh, another way to, uh, to show that is, uh, is the same procedure applied this time to uh, 2009 data that they recently uh, published. Um, again, a 2D layout and that really shows you that it can be quite cluttered and, uh, and well, it's, it can be difficult to identify uh, central uh, nodes in it. Um, well, or it's not Paget dependent. You see, for example, with Voice Viewer, uh, the same issue is there. You, the 2D map uh, uh, is a bit uh, constrained to show uh, the, the full structure of the network. Let me show you with Gephi now. Same uh, 2007 data. Uh, you can uh, well explore the network, identify some candidates in this one for uh, centrality. But let me show you now uh, what the 3D layout uh, looks like. So it's Graph Insight uh, that just a few days ago uh, released the Windows uh, version. And this is the 2007 Leidersdorf Rifles data uh, as a PAGEC file that uh, I imported in the software. And what I found really interesting is that uh, the 3D structure allows the nodes to uh, reconfigure uh, the position, and intuitively you f you see nodes that you like this one that look central in a way that you wouldn't see in a 2D in a 2D uh, layout. So let's click on it. Let's try to see it there. Okay, so no surprise, it's multidisciplinary science. But let's go back to uh, let's go back to uh, this map, right? Or this one, or this one, and you see that it's uh, the 3D layout really achieves uh, a better differentiation of the position that allows you to. Uh, uh, to find the uh, uh, central networks that get flattened and hidden a bit in a 2D layout. So that's it. I really think that 3D layouts uh, are a promi promi promis promising way to uh, uh, to explore uh, network data in uh, even more uh, efficient fashion. Thank you.